All right, all right, all right. And we're back. What's up, YouTube? If you don't know, this is uh, David from Tagging Arms. Quick shout out to BeatOutWebBrand.com. You know, got the t-shirts. Go check them out. Um, Today, we're going to be discussing uh, the Mossberg Maverick 88. And if this is a firearm that you should be having for home defense, um, in, the, in the gun community, there's a lot of, you know, people who say you, you shouldn't have one for home defense, you should have one. But I'm basically going to just break it down on um, basically what is this Maverick 88 and should you have it for home defense? So, with that being said, let's just dive right into it and, and and let's talk about it. So, first and foremost, this is a pump action shotgun. And the reason that is, is because you have to pump for the rounds to circulate. So... The one thing that you want to think about is the price point, right? So I think I picked this up. It was one of the first files I picked up. It was like 125 bucks. Basically, it was uh, this was used, and it was just sitting there on the shelf with a used tag on it, collecting dust. And for that price, I was like, man, let me get it. I actually lucked out because it came with an extended loader. So it comes with a tube on the bottom of the barrel. And these are actually where the rounds go. So as you're cycling through the action, the rounds will start coming down until you're basically out of round. So instead of having, I want to say four, what is it? Five shots. I think I could get seven or eight, depending on the size. I think you could put like uh, three inch, two or three inch rounds in there. And then I got, you know, slugs. I got it alternating between slugs and um, buckshot. But um, that's the setup I got. And then I got a little bit, a little carrier for some extra rounds just in case. So number one is gonna be price point. At the end of the day, this channel is for guys that are on a budget. So I think this would probably be the, the best firearm that you could get at a affordable price. And, you know, rounds are accessible. They're plentiful. You can go anywhere and get shotgun rounds. So you ain't got to worry about, oh, the prices are going up or oh, whatever, whatever. You can get shotgun rounds anywhere. So that, that's probably going to be my number two is because uh, ammunition, you could get anywhere. So if you, if you want to pick up a shotgun and you're like, damn, you know, I'm not trying to spend a, a lot of money, then go ahead and pick you up a Mossberg 88 and you could get plenty of ammunition. Um, What else? user user friendly at the end of the day this ain't rocket science um anybody could pretty much pick up this shotgun take the safety off there's a little button right here a little safety you can take it off boom it has a little bead on the front of the barrel line that up with whatever you're shooting at and pull the trigger and it's gonna go so it's pretty easy um i will say however it does have a lot of power so for new shooters who never shot any kind of firearm this thing has a lot of kick so even though it's easy to shoot and everything like that you always want to make sure that you're practicing and that's what it really comes down to, just practicing with your firearms. So that way you don't have your 
Yeah, you're not supposed to be holding it over here off your shoulder, and then when you pull it, it's gonna come back and you could dislocate your shoulder. You don't wanna be over here with trying to have it by your eye socket and break your damn face. So, if you ever have any questions and you go to a shooting range, they have plenty of um, people who work there and or shooting instructors, or you could take classes, sign up for classes. That way you don't hurt yourself. Um, reliability is going to be the next target. So basically these things are made to go forever. Anybody I know who has shotgun, I've had this for what? Um, man, a long time. Maybe going on 10 years. And then God knows how long the person who had it before me. And this thing is, is good. If you look right here, I'm glad that I'm doing this video because I, got, I actually got to clean it up. It's a little dirty. But um, every time I take it to the range, I never had no problem. Everything works fine. Like, these things are built to take an ass whipping. So the, this is something you could buy and maybe, you know, pass it down to your son or your nephew or your cousin or whoever. Because they're just made well. Um, uh, one thing I will say is that for home defense, this thing is big as hell. If you look at it, I can't even fit it in this picture because that's how... That's how long the barrel is. And if you see me, I'm about six foot, six foot tall, six foot one, something like that. I guess I get, I'm shrinking with the years as I get older. It's not like the best for close quarter stuff. If you gotta swing this thing around and you're trying to bend corners and all that. Um. That's probably one of the downsides to having this shotgun is it's fucking huge. So don't think because you have a shotgun, one, people always talk about, you know, the movies. Oh, this, this sound right here. That shit right there is not going to stop anybody from trying to continue coming in your house. They, all you're doing is letting them know that you have a shotgun and... If they have a firearm, it's not going to matter. Somebody who's coming into your house is desperate or whatever, and you start talking about, I got a shotgun, and you racking it, and you acting all crazy with it, that's probably going to be a, the, the worst thing you could do. Um, Yeah, you know, somebody sees a shotgun, they might get scared or nervous or something like that if they're unarmed, but somebody who's armed and is actually prepared to go that distance to, to break into your house or something like that, they're ready for anything. So basically what I'm saying is, if you do decide to have a shotgun for home defense and you pull it out, that sound, don't let that be the, the sound that you're trying to defend your home with. Um, You might have to use this damn thing. Hopefully not. But um, yeah, that's one downside is that this thing is big. It's not very ergonomic for um, swinging around the house. I personally bought it because at the time it was very cheap, 125 bucks. And I was like, man, let me just grab that thing off the shelf and put it in my house because it ain't doing it. And I actually enjoy, you know, taking this to the range and, and, and sh letting off rounds. And it's, it's pretty easy. You just point, aim, and shoot. And it's, it's pretty much it. Now, right now it's not loaded, but I could basically show you guys. You're going to just load it from the bottom through this little tube. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, right? 
you're gonna use this little release. Now you're gonna see the cartridge jump up and it's loaded, it's ready to go. And then if you wanted to, you could take one extra, right? If you wanted to just keep it loaded. And now you got seven in the tube, one in the head, and, you, and you're ready to roll. And then if you ever wanna just clear out the tube or you wanna play with your phone, whatever, clean it up, you just hold the release. There's a small little button right here. And you're gonna just cycle through the action. And that's it. Now you know that it's clear. You can check it. Put down the barrel. I know there ain't nothing in it. And it's good to go. Make sure you put that on, that safety on. Um what's one other thing? So should you have a Mars bird? Yeah, of course. I think this is gonna be a good home defense weapon. It, it, it has a lot of stopping power. Um, it, you know, it doesn't take much to fire it off and with a little bit of practice, you'd be all right. But is it the best as far as ergonomics? No. I think there's other Plenty of other firearms on the market that you could purchase a day as far as handguns and ARs and stuff like that, that have plenty of stopping power, plenty of ammunition, because this is only limited to the, to the user. Basically, however fast you can cycle through these rounds is how fast you can shoot. And this is basically... Uh, this ain't one of those semi-automatic ones where you just cock it back one time and you could just let it go. Boo, 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 boo. They got plenty of upgraded um, shotguns that actually could go a lot faster and go through a lot more rounds that are more tactical, if you will. But for something basic, I think this is uh, a good pickup. Um, anybody who owns a shotgun, let me know. Let me know what you think. Post a comment down below. Um, if there's anything that you think I should have brought up. Because as far as I know, I think I hit everything on the head. Home defense weapon? Yes. Is it the best? I think that's somebody is up to you. That's your opinion. Um, do I have one? Yes, I do. And I think it's always good to have different firearms for different scenarios and different situations it ain't only good for home defense you know hunting or whatever you want to do got a little pad that you can pick up make sure you have your little gun locks so that way when you away from the house or you got your kids around you know you could lock that up but me I'm always doing these videos and going to the range, so I'm, I'm very, pretty aware of what's going on with my phone at all times. Um, and for those of you who haven't followed, follow me on Tagging Arms on Instagram, uh, Tagging Arms on Facebook, um, and tell your friends, man, we're doing big things. Also, Shout out to my boy, uh, Grimes, uh, B-O-M-B, Bomb on Top. He got a whole bunch of apparel that you could cop. Go check them out. They're actually pretty good with linking up and, and getting streamers together and online communities together. And they're doing something nice over there. Um, again, they so D A S. D-A-S-O. Go cop your, your t-shirts over there at piraguabrand.com. He got some uh, Afro-Caribbean fusion multicultural stuff going on over there. And like always, you know, be safe. And peace out.